Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with part number five in my Zodiac series. And this, I think this is going to be the hardest one. Um, it is Taurus now, which is Oxen in Swedish. Oxen, uh, like an ox, I think. And it's this brown shade. And I'm going to do a makeup look where this brown shade is the center of attention. I don't really know. I am thinking of one thing. I will try to do that. I don't know if it is possible. Um, so I will try. Maybe this fails. Um, so yeah, I will... Here got so much volume um, I will at least try so I will zoom in and then we we'll get started with this Taurus look yeah and if you don't know what the Zodiac series I will leave my first video up here and all the videos down in the description or my playlist I can leave my playlist up here I think I have a playlist at least um, so if you not know what I'm talking about, you can check it out there and I explain a little bit. So yeah, we just hop into this makeup look. Okay, so I will start with um, the Infinity Deep palette by Linda Holberg. And I will start with Light Year and put it in my crease. And I don't think I'm going to get this look together. But I, I'm going to try this. And I understand that you are not supposed to do like this with this palette, but I want to do it like this. I'm going to go in with Fornax, also from the Infinity Deep. This is also in the Deep, no, in the Infinity palette, the original palette. And I'm going to take this in my crease as well. Okay, so something like this. And just... Believe me. Believe me. I think we can do something with this. Is this your zodiac sign or what zodiac sign are you? I am Pisces, hate that word, and I got a pretty fun color in this palette but like this one and also Vir Virgo and Libra. I'm a little bit sad for you because that's not the most fun <laughs> colors in the palette. Okay, and now for the maybe most weird part, I'm going to cut my crease. And I use the Colourpop No Filter Concealer and just a brush, tiny brush from Linda Holberg. And I'm going to take this shade and put on my cut crease. No, I do not know what I'm doing right now. And yes, I am cutting my crease with a matte shadow. You don't have to tell me what a strange idea this is. And kind of like what a stupid idea this is because I know. And I think I want to go in with a little bit more black and yes, that is maybe a bad idea, so I'm not going to do it. But I just want it to be a little bit more in here or up here. Okay, so this is like a super strange cut crease and I think I want to go in a little bit more with black. What have I done? 
I will do the same thing on the other eye, uh, fix my base and then I will come back and I have to do something more. So I fix my base and then I will come back. I'm going to add some extra stuff for this look I think. So yeah, I will be back. <laughs> we'll see where this is going. Okay, so I am back and for my low lash I'm just going to do I want to take this it was this one I took this light year and fornax really quick I think these two are enough to have on my lower lash so and then for my waterline I will take this uh, this is from makeup store it's their Top matte eye pen eyeliner, and then I'm thinking of doing something new. Um, I am okay with this look. I think it's okay. It's not the most fun look I have ever done. It's not the most boring look I have ever done. But I want something more, and I want to. In the spirit of Betty Jean, I want to take some glitter and I think I will take this gold glitter that I got from Body Shop because I think this, or maybe not. I also have these, these are like stars and moons and hearts. Maybe I should take some of the moons instead because this is a zodiac. I will go with these stars up here. I don't think you can see it. Maybe if I zoom in here. Can you see them then? And I will take them. I was first thinking in my inner corner. But I actually think I will take them out here. So I will take NYX glitter glue. And I have like never done this. So we will see how that goes. So I take a brush from Real Techniques, put some glue glue on, on it, and okay, I want to take it out here. And I just stamp the glue glue on, and then I take the brush with some glue glue, put it in the stars. Okay, and this is too big. Okay, abort, 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 because these are too big. Maybe I just should have taken the stars, like, out here. But you know what? If you not, never try anything new, you will never learn. It's so many stars right now, I don't even know if you can see it. I think I have to take some of the stars away and because I don't think I want these stars to get into my eyes because then I may be going blind. Okay, so maybe in the next video I am blind uh, because star has cut my eye open. I don't know. I will put on some mascara and a lipstick and I think I will go pretty dark. I'm thinking about this one but I don't think it's the right like undertone for this. I think this is a little bit too cold so I will check in my drawer for a lipstick and put on mascara and then I will be back. Okay so for my lips I went with Posh Spice from Jeffree Star and I don't think that these is the, these kinds of lip colors are the best for me but what the hell and do I have a star in my eyes? So this is the finished look with this fifth zodiac sign the Taurus uh, this one and I think I did the best for the situation I don't know if the shadow of the month is really in center now when I have the stars on but I think this is the best I can do and I actually I think I like this don't get me wrong, I love doing colorful makeup, it's my favorite thing, but sometimes 
I just want to do something different and this is a little bit different from what I usually do. So this is my finished look and uh, this month Zodiac and now I have concealer on my Zodiac palette. Um, so this month's Zodiac. Uh, next month it is a shimmer shade again and I will see what this shimmer shade is. Uh, I have not been so impressed by the other shimmer shades in the uh, shimmer shades in this palette. Uh, so I'm hoping for the best. And yeah, I really hope you like this video and I really hope that you like my Zodiac series. We are soon halfway through and I can't like grasp that 2019 it has been four and a half months almost five when you see it this is crazy but yeah i really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and i have something in my eyes and i hope i'll see you in the next one bye